this point, you would think I would be ha a happier autistic person, right? Finally having a wo the woman of my life to be here by my side and care about each other and such for the rest of our lives. Uh, but the truth is, for real, Mick and I, we don't hang out in person as much as we should be. Only fun conversations and a few times we did hang out. And she does not know that many people here in Charlottesville. All things appreciated in our friendship, Mick is just too busy to help me best. <sighs> Another thing about us autistic people, we do not like to be alone, quote unquote, 24-7. We need the emotional support of a true friend constantly and in person. Also on another note, apparently government funding goes more towards physical health over mental health. The brain is a part of our body, and not just any part, the most vital part. Why do we treat the rest of our body parts, which essentially alone are brainless, better than our one actual central processing unit that is not brainless. As a part of the body, funds should be equally distributed or equally divided between both physical and mental health. So then the cures for mental illnesses, including autism, can be found. It just makes me feel sad and furious at this time. I, for one, actually appreciate a true and full good quality friendship. Yet, in a world full of sick-minded people, one can only detest, I feel so paranoid, of a number of people. And I feel uncertain of most anyone I could ever trust and, or feel at ease around. The social phobias I can no longer tolerate. Which is why, unlike the autistic people who pitifully accept it as a forever lasting curse. I for one seek a cure. On the day, a resolution to reestablish all connections in our brains with thorough corpus callosum repair and such, I, Christian Weston Chandler, will be there among the first in line to take the life-changing autism cure I have desired for so long, to establish a quicker, more socially active mind, a great sense of self-esteem, a great sense of self-reliance, a great sense of self-confidence, total independence, and freedom from the thorns of autism of any kind or sort. the life only an autistic person can ever dream of. I am Christian Weston Chandler, and this has been an autism tutorial. Thank you, and have a good and safe day.